War comes with its attendance pains of losing loved ones, especially those who are directly involved in fighting to protect others. Well, the Armed Forces Remembrance Day honors fallen heroes and celebrates the unity they fought for. The Lagos State Deputy Governor, Mrs. Idiot Adebule, stands in for the Governor as the Special Guest of Honor at this year's Armed Forces Remembrance Day. The occasion culminates a week of activities lined up to mark the passage of soldiers who died in the line of duty. Shortly on her arrival, she inspects the Guard of Honor, mounted by a combined detachment of the Army, Navy, Air Force, Police, and the Nigerian Legion. After inspecting the Guard of Honor, the Deputy Governor leads service chiefs and other top government officials to lay wreaths at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Following the Deputy Governor is the Head of Service. and the state's chief judge. Heads of military formations and other security chiefs also take turns. My Excellency, Pastor. The wreath symbolizes the appreciation and acknowledgement of the supreme price paid by gallant members of the armed forces in defense of the unity and sovereignty of Nigeria. This is followed by the 21-gun salute, two, and the release of pigeons to symbolize peace. The Deputy Governor of Lagos State commends the armed forces for demonstrating courage and gallantry in the face of threats to national unity. She says Nigeria will only prosper in a peaceful atmosphere. Let us ensure violence and embrace dialogue as a preferred mechanism for conflict resolution. Let me use this opportunity to reiterate my call on all Lagosians and indeed all Nigerians to show love and care to the families and the loved ones of our deceased patriots. One of the ways we can support the survivor is to engage the service of these ex-servicemen and women, some of who have suffered physical disabilities while defending the territorial integrity and the unity of our nation. As we conclude this year's Armed Forces Remembrance, celebration. My appeal to all well-meaning Nigerians is to sustain the support and care for the families of our fallen heroes and those living with disabilities. Since 1970, when the peace treaty was signed to end the civil war, Nigeria has remained united, notwithstanding her cultural diversity and religious differences. The Armed Forces Remembrance Day should remind us of the need to continue to foster patriotism and unity amongst all. The labor of our heroes past shall not be in vain. Well, we'll have a part to play. That's it on the program this week. Thank you sincerely for being a wonderful audience. Let's meet again same time next week. God willing, I'm Loretta. Chiogo.